hello friends welcome back today we would be learning something very interesting that is how to record macros on google sheets yeah you heard it correctly we have seen how to use macros on microsoft excel workbooks now today we will see how to create macros on google sheets so let's begin the prerequisite is you should be logged into your google account and you should have your google sheet open with you so this is a sample google sheet which i have created on which i would be creating a macro in fact i would be recording a macro we write macros to avoid the repetitive task so assume on this sample worksheet i have this repetitive task like all these columns which i have from column a to d i need to copy these values like from row number 2 to row number 16 for each of these columns and paste it in transpose view in a new worksheet this would not only be time consuming but it also would be a bit tedious to repeat the task for all these columns and assume like if you need to perform this task on a daily basis how cumbersome it would be so to avoid these repetitive steps we could record a macro like this so what you have to do is go into this tools menu here you could find something called macros within macro click on record macro keep this thing as it is do not change the settings and now you could see it is showing recording new macro so all the steps which you'd be performing right now would get recorded so what we'll do is i'll go to the cell a2 and using my keyboard shift control and down arrow key i select all the cells from a2 to a16 and now i do a copy using control c now my intention is to paste these cells in a transposed view onto a new worksheet i'll just maximize this and here you would see below you have this option of adding a sheet so i click over here on the sheet 2 on cell a1 i do a right click i select paste special and select the last option paste transposed so these values get pasted in transposed view i will rename this sheet 2 as transpose underscore view now remember the recording is still on now i once again move to sheet 1 this time i do the same thing like select the cells from b2 to b16 do a copy now once again move to the second sheet this time i select cell a2 right click space special paste transpose once again i move to sheet 1 now this time cell c1 to c16 same steps i copy it once again move to the sheet right click paste special paste transposed finally for the last column control c and i'll paste it over here paste transposed so now since the recording was on all these steps which i performed manually have been recorded if you want to see the recorded steps what you have to do is you have to click on the save button over here and here you could give the name of the macro you could give any name i am giving it as test1 below is the optional shortcut i am not giving anything right now i'll explain to you about the shortcut in an another tutorial but now i am just clicking on the save button over here so you could see the macro is getting saved and here it is giving me an option to edit the script when i click over here i would be able to see the recorded steps so this is the code which was written in the background as we were recording 
you could see the name of this function is test1 why because this was the name which we gave to the macro while saving it and now these are the steps if you would carefully observe it has all the steps which we had recorded if you see at line number 10 here is the code of actually inserting a new worksheet at line number 10 it is copying the contents from sheet 1 range A2 to A16 to the new worksheet at line 12 it is renaming the new worksheet to transport underscore view so all the steps which we had done have been recorded so what is the expectation when I'll run this the steps which we had done manually would be done in an automated manner so before executing it what I'll do is once again I'll go to this spreadsheet I'll just delete this transpose view worksheet because if I'll not delete it the system will not allow me to create a new worksheet with the same name so once again I move to the code here and to execute it what you have to do is you could either click this arrow kind of a button on the top or you could go to run run function test1 so let's do that and see what happens so here it is showing some kind of an authorization is required so I would go ahead and click on review permissions it is asking me to sign in so I'll sign into this account I'll just click on it here I have to select allow on the next screen you could see this will allow recorded macros so once you do all these steps now you are in a position to execute it so now this time I'm clicking on this arrow button and let's see what happens you could see running function test one so in the background it is getting executed and now if you would see on the main workbook this transpose view sheet has been automatically created we were not able to see how this sheet got created because we were on the macro view so what I'll do is I'll once again delete this and this time we'll keep our focus on the spreadsheet so that we are able to see so again I click on this arrow button to get this executed so the execution has begun I move to the spreadsheet and you could see over here it is actually moving the data from sheet 1 to the transpose view sheet so this is how you record and playback macros on Google spreadsheets so this was a very basic example in which I explained how to record and playback macros on Google spreadsheets in my upcoming tutorials I would be explaining you the concepts of how to actually write the programming code like the for loop if loop those kind of conditions within the macro of Google Sheets so stay tuned guys if you like my videos I request you to please subscribe to my channel so that you would be updated with the latest videos I would be uploading guys thanks for joining I'll see you in my next tutorial goodbye